making Arizona schools safer. Well, right now, there's millions of dollars up for grabs to add school resource officers, guidance counselors, and even social workers to campuses. Yeah, all of it is part of a school safety grant. The problem here, trying to figure out which schools are going to get that funding. Heather Moore has this Arizona's Family original, but we do want to warn you, some of the video may be graphic. Holy Deadly school shootings in recent years. I've heard so many people saying that, like, it was gunshots. Forcing campuses all across the nation. I shouldn't be going through this at my school. To majorly overhaul their plans. It's a horrific um, situation. In May, Governor Ducey announced $20 million for school safety grants. We've got a responsibility to do something for our kids. The program, which typically funds school resource officers, was expanded to now include requests for counselors or social workers. And we've got to do it this session. A staggering 900 schools applied for the grant, including Desert Vista High in Ahwatukee. With uh, nearly 3,100 students, uh, you can imagine there are some things that happen on a campus our size. Principal Mike Degnan says his first choice on the application is to continue funding a police officer on campus. This is kind of a no-brainer in my mind that uh, at the very least on this level for safety and security in a building, we have to have a school resource officer. He says Officer Nicole, who sits close to the front door, is highly visible on campus and a critical part of their team. Degnan says in a perfect world, he would have counselors and social workers too, but he knows there's not enough money. It can be frustrating when you have to make those hard choices about what can you spend limited dollars on. The Department of Ed says 75% of the schools who applied for the grant last month asked for counselors or social workers, which is not a surprise for one of them. They desperately need help. Um, you know, the ratios are huge. Brittany Griffith is a member of the Arizona School Counselors Association and says the student to counselor ratio of more than 900 to one in Arizona caught a lot of people off guard. When that came out, people were like, Whoa, what, what, ne what are our kids missing out on? Griffith said those numbers are nearly twice the national average and well over three times what her organization recommends at 250 kids to one counselor. I was at two schools up until last year, so I had over 1,100 students um, at the elementary school level. Well, now she's at one school and says addressing students' social and emotional needs is crucial now more than ever. We hear that there's a rise in behavioral health disorders in younger children, obviously um, school shootings and suicides on the rise as well. She said the hardest part is talking to kids about problems she can't fix, but she believes schools are safer when kids know how to cope. If we can teach students ways to deal with conflict better, to teach students to deal with their emotions in a more effective manner, um, then they're less likely to have those at-risk behaviors to be um, a safety concern. And that's a big part of the goal with this $20 million student safety grant. Problem is, if every application was approved, it would take more than $97 million to cover the cost. This really shows a need for more, um, more funding for, for education. Callie Kozlak works in policy and government relations for the Department of Ed. She says her team's been crunching a ton of numbers and setting up a rubric to figure out which of the nearly 900 schools will be awarded that grant money. We said that we would look at um, the ratios of potential ratio of number of students to um, to resource, whether an, a school has an existing resource. They also look at emergency certified teachers, data from the Office of Civil Rights, and they look at school report cards. It really shows that this is a fundamental need for schools, and I think in order to, to meet that need, um, we are going to need to think about what is the appropriate um, funding and support coming from the state. Back at Desert Vista High School, Principal Degnan understands the math. Only a fraction of schools that apply will get the money. And he's hopeful funding for his SRO remains a constant. If we were to, to lose that, we would have to go back to the drawing board on how we really could provide this level of safety for this community. Um, and frankly, that's not a discussion I would want to have um, in, in this community and at a school this large. For Arizona's family, I'm Heather Moore. Well, the Department of Education hopes to have a list of the schools approved for the grants at the next state board meeting that's scheduled for December 13th.